Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm here with another vlog with you today, and um, I just got back from going to my kingdom in Miscellany and getting my resources out of it. Uh, I think that they were in there for like, I think the last time I went was like a week ago. So, um, just some things before we get started. I haven't touched any of it yet, and I just want to show you how much profit you can make off it. Uh, to start off, this is my entire cash stack right now, um, and then we're going to see how much it can grow by. So, let's open up the bank, and here to here is everything I got from this little here. Excuse me. So we'll put that in. Okay. And first thing we do is start with Nest. Nest this is. Get all this stuff out. Um, so any seeds that don't appear down here when I deposit them is because I must have them in here and these are the ones that I want to keep or are kind of valuable or something so um, that's why not really everything will appear. And this can always take a while, this can take up to like maybe 20 minutes, um, I doubt it'll take a full 20 minutes for this really. Anyway, um, anyway, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is... One, I have a new Slayer task, um, I finished whatever, uh, Fire Giants, and now I have Turos, and I don't know if I can range them or not, so if you have an answer for me, um, leave it below in the comments, I have no idea, I've never had them before, so I'll probably look at the YouTube guide, or if you guys give really good advice, I'll use it, um, other things. I've been fletching a lot. I know I haven't made a video of me fletching at all, but uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Just gonna get my shit together. I think I can clean this. Good. All right, this is kind of the tedious part, cleaning all the herbs. But um, so I have Turos now. Sorry if you can hear the mouse, but like, it must be really loud. So I have the Taros, and I have no idea when I'm actually going to do that task again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be Sunday. And then I'm off of school all this week. So that will give me ample time to play if I so choose. I don't really know what I have going on this week, so if I get bored or I'm not really doing anything. Um, I hope to get a few levels. And... Oops. I'm really bad at getting herbs, I always miss them. <sighs> Other than that... Um, quite a few of you left a comment on my last video giving me like advice on how to do jab. And, quite frankly, like, I'm not going to do Jad until I can actually get full weapons or whatever um, my friend Jeremy was using in his video. He said he had a really good setup. I'm not really sure what it is. I'll have to watch it again. But I trust him to know what he's doing. I think... Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to do... What is it? Uh, fairy tale part one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many parts there are, but I need to do the fairy tale quest, or at least as many as I can do, um, just because I want to use fairy rings. Oh, fuck yeah! I think that's a hey fairy tale, fairy tale part two, and awesome. 
have a ton of herbs for doing herb lore, actually. I can probably get another two or three levels right now. I can show you after I bank this. Um... I want to give... Or I'll do that in a second. So I have 449 Irrit, 29 Quarm, Toad Flax, and Renai. And in my... I know it's kind of weird that I have my herbs separate from my potions, but I have um, secondaries for super attack potions, and I have a few unfinished Renars, and then... Uh, so I can make super attacks, um, I can make a few prayer pots, and then... I think I can make super strength now, and that's what I'm going to start doing with all my quarms. So that'll be a good time. Uh, shout out, major, major shout out to this kid, JTuber. Um, I told him a few days ago that I would give him a shout out because he's Brazilian, and Brazil, B-R-A-S-I-L, is my soccer team. Um... I will be a diehard Brazil fan for as long as I live. I've never even been to South America before, but I just love their soccer team, so he gets a special shout out because he's Brazilian. Um, he's actually, oh my fucking god. Um, yeah. Other shout outs to Jeremy for uh, chatting me and talking to me when I'm bored out of my mind from clutching. I have 81 right now, I don't know if that's changed, I'm almost 82, which is cool. Uh, I, I kind of ran out of topics to talk about, but I'm almost done here anyway. Um, God, I had something else to say, but I can't remember. Ah, uh, this is kind of awkward now. <laughs> um, anything I really want to work on. I still want to do range. I need to get this under control. It's kind of really crappy and not good at all for PVM or PvP or killing things in general. But I kind of like being a really... Oh my god. I kind of like having a low combat level because I get like quite a few comments on my mining cave for people just being like, oh my god, like level, what am I, 92? Level 92 with a mining cave is pretty rare apparently, so this is for you guys. Um, yeah, so I've had a few people come up to me and they're like, Holy crap, that's really rare for someone to level on it. Kind of makes me feel a little bit badass, I guess, that I'm a 92 with a mining cape. Um, other topics, I don't really know. I guess I'll bring the video back once I'm done cleaning all my herbs and stuff. So as I'm finishing this, uh, this up, I also want to remind anyone who does, um, manage their kingdom that they should crush, crush their bird's nest because the regular ones are untradeable but the crushed ones are tradeable so you can make more profit off that you just need to buy the Pestle of Gorda the GE it's like really cheap I want to say it's like under 1k so it's not that bad at all um, alright let me get all these things Get the PC on it. This is what it's going to do. And you also have to keep in mind that this isn't a completely accurate representation. Um, because I think that um, this is all stuff from other trips that I might as well just take out to show you to show what you can make. Um, I don't think that those are treatable. These are for sure. These are. These are. I don't think that's treatable. Um, so yeah, and then I also have like whatever uh, Renars and Irrits I cleaned. Uh, those are in there and Toad Flex and Quan. So, that's like a little bit less, but 
this should be generally pretty accurate for what you can make in one trip, maybe a little bit more than average because I took out a few other things, but um Why the hell did I take out the knife? <laughs> Not the wheel logs. And there you go. Two mil. Bam. So I turned 200k cash stack into 2.1 mil in a week. So I put in about 2.1 mil maybe and then um, a week later it was down to 1.3 mil. So I lost about 800k and made about 2 mil so that's over 1 mil profit. So it's a really easy way to make money. I encourage everyone to do it if they have a quest done. Uh, you need to make sure that you have, what is it, um, miscellaneous something. I cannot really achieve it. Which I do. Uh, I can't remember, but you need both of them. Uh, one of them is Royal Travel. Oh, Throne of Miscellanea. Right here, here's the first one you need to do. And then Q R and then Royal Trouble. And Royal Trouble makes it so you can actually like make good profit. And uh Corona Miscellanea actually allows you to do it. So um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any advice on Taras or any future videos that you want to see me do. Thanks.